In this video, I am going to explain how to use various instruments like mini drafter, compass, scale and how to prepare engineering drawings using these instruments. Number one is called a mini drafter. This instrument is called as mini drafter and it is used to, to draw lines, vertical lines, horizontal lines, inclined lines, vertical parallel lines, inclined parallel lines, like that. And the various parts of the instrument are the smaller scale. This, uh, this is called a shorter scale and this is called a longer scale of your drafter. And these scales are graduated in terms of millimeters and centimeters. This one, two, three is written is, is in terms of centimeter. And one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeter. 10 small divisions marked between say one and two. It is divided into 10 equal parts so that you can easily mark in terms of centimeter or in terms of millimeter. And the angle between the shorter scale and the longer scale is 90 degree. This is fixed in this drafter itself. And uh, in addition to this, you can find uh, some two rounds are given. This is black color. This is a smaller round is called as screw. And uh, the, it is provided with a clamp, red in color. And it is used to fix that drafter, mini drafter on the drawing board. And this is second round provided bigger in size is called as a nut of the drafter. And it is used to adjust the scale, horizontal, horizontal scale and the vertical scale. So that you can draw inclined parallel lines like that. And also you can find some four steel rods are provided. One, two, three and four steel rods are provided around the length of the mini drafter, this will act as a link where you can use to adjust the scale along the drawing board and you can draw li lines so that it plays along the or over the drawing board and uh, you can also find some four joints are provided and back side um, two joints so, so total four joints at this part are provided and on the top side, you can find some three joints are provided. One, two, and three. These are called as joints. And when you remove it from the cover, the drafter appears like this. And how to use this drafter? First, you have to release this screw. So for that releasing, when you rotate the screw in clockwise, like this, that is tightening. That is for fixing of the drafter over the drawing board. And when you rotate the screw in anti-clockwise, that is releasing, releasing of the screw from the drawing board. Similarly, this the nut is rotated in clockwise so that it is used to fix the scale. And when you rotate in anti-clockwise, the releasing of the this loosening of the screw, sorry, in scale will take place. So when let us uh, use uh, this drafter. First, we are going to fix the drafter uh, over the drawing board. So for that, this screw is rotated in anti-clockwise. That is releasing of the screw. So that you can detach the scale like this. So it uh, detached. And uh, now we are going to fix this drafter on the drawing board. So for that, you do like this. And... Uh, and you can split the clamp part and the scale part separately. This clamp screw is further rotated in anti-clockwise so that the gap between the... So when you rotate this screw like this, the gap between the clamp and the nut surface will increase. So when you rotate it in clockwise, the gap is reduced. So just we release the screw and now it can be this gap in this part it can be used to insert on the drawing board thickness at the left top corner of your drawing board you insert a clamp like this and rotate the screw in clockwise so that it is tightened now your drafter is fixed on the drawing board and when you tighten this screw you press the clamp like this, just you firmly hold, press this clamp like this, then you can tighten your drafter scale, that is a clamp, the screw. 
and the other end of the drafter where you can find the scale. So when you rotate this nut in clockwise, that is a tightening of the scale will take so that it cannot be moved. So when you want to release the scale, you have to rotate the nut in anti-clockwise so that now the scale can be tilted like this or rotated. Why I tell this part as a nut because when you rotate this in anti-clockwise, you can remove this nut and it is removed. This, this is called as nut and it will have a hole on it. Whereas this is called as a screw and when you remove it, you can find a washer. This is called as a fiber washer placed on the screw called as washer. This washer is very important for tightening of your drafter and its proper working. This washer is essential. And when you remove this, you can find this is clamp or a plate and this vertical and horizontal scale are united as a single piece. And when you want to make it assembly, you keep the scale lower, place the plate over that, place your washer then place your nut and rotate in clockwise. Usually it is not removed. Just you have to release and tight it whenever you use. Don't remove it because your nut may be lost, may be misplaced. Released. So let us use how to use this mill drafter and for that And at the right side, right end, right side end, bottom corner, where I'm going to place the drawing sheet. This is the top left corner where I place the clamp of the mini drafter. And at the lower end, that is on the right lower end, I'm going to fix the drawing sheet. Before placing the drawing sheet, let me use the packing sheet. It is used as used to support the drawing sheet. So when you draw lines, so the board get are not disturbed over the drawing sheet and before placing the drawing sheet, let me fix the packing sheet. And the cello tape may be used to fix the packing sheet. Packing sheet is basically a chart of any color. On the, all the four corners, the packing sheet is fixed over the drawing board. Cello tape may be used here and here and all the four corners the cello tape may be used to fix the packing sheet over the board. Now the drawing sheet. Now we are going to place the drawing sheet on the right side, on the right lower end of your drawing board like this. At the right end bottom corner where I am going to place the drawing sheet like this. So for that I use a drawing board clips. These are called as drawing board clips. And how to use this drawing board clips means this is as a bend on the lower part and there's horizontal on the upper part. So when you use this clip, see that the you insert like this. Don't insert. This is a wrong this is a wrong procedure. You have to insert like this. The flat surface should come surface of the drawing sheet. So you firmly you release this lower part and just you insert like this. So that it is clamped like this on all the three sides. This side is clamped and on the other end, other side that is uh, horizontally, this is the edge. So the clamp may be inserted like this. Now I have inserted some four clips. And the, this corner may be used by cello tape for fixing this, this corner. Cello tape may be sticked over this corner diagonally like this. Place a cello tape. And now the drawing sheet is ready. Now you have to adjust your drafter. That is zero coincidence of your drafter over the edge of the drawing sheet. So for that, now for making zero degree angle setting, you release the, this nut, so rotate in anti-clockwise, so that the scale can be moved like this. And you adjust the scale in such a way that the paper edge, this is the paper edge, the drawing sheet edge, 
in coincidence with the edge of the scale. Keep like this, adjust the scale so that your paper edge, drawing sheet edge and this scale edge coincides. Now you tighten the nut in clockwise and also you should ensure that uh, this is parallel. So the gap between the edge of your drawing sheet and the edge of the scale are uniform. Right? And uh, for drawing lines, also you should know that uh, before drawing lines, see that uh, the zero, some angles are provided in this drafter scale, in this drafter, and you can find several angles are provided. 0, 10, 20. This is can be used to draw lines at various inclinations. Like this is some 0 to 90 degrees provided. And on the lower side, 0 to 90 degrees is also provided. So for beginners, it is not advised to use these angles because we don't know how to rotate, whether to rotate in clockwise or to anti-clockwise for marking angles. So for that, a normal protector may be used at the initial stage in substitute of these angles. After being well versed of using these protector angles, we may use for later purpose. Initially for beginners, it is advised to use the protector itself for marking various angles. Now the gap between the edge of the paper and the edge of the scale is uniform, same it is. Now you tight this, uh, uh, what is called as a nut in clockwise, so that your scale is made to zero setting, that is zero degree, it is a zero degree angle. And uh, this is uh, made as permanent in this drafter for the beginners. And uh, now I'm going to draw several lines. How to use this uh, drafter for drawing various inclined lines or horizontal or vertical lines. And uh, before drawing the lines, you should also know what are the various grades of pencil available. This is called as a 2H pencil. This 2H pencil is a hard pencil and it is used to draw projection lines. That is when you draw using this line, scale, the lines appear lighter. Suppose when you use HP pencil, it appears dark. So this, uh, this is the difference of using H, 2H pencil and HP pencil. In between 2H and HP, there may be, there is a pencil called H pencil. It is used to draw construction lines. And uh, now after making the zero settings on a drafter scale, let me use to draw vertical lines. So when you draw a line like this using the smaller scale of your drafter, this is a vertical line and this may be your horizontal line drawn using horizontal scale of your drafter. Anywhere you can extend the scale like this along the drawing sheet, you can draw lines and mark the segments, whatever distance is required and that can be marked using this horizontal scale and vertical scale in terms of millimeter or centimeter. So you can draw any number of parallel vertical lines like this and the gap between the vertical lines are chosen accordingly. Suppose if you want to draw some parallel to this line, another vertical parallel line at a distance of 43 mm. So 43 mm means that is 4.3 centimeter. So put a point for 4.3 centimeter that is adjust the gap between this line drawn and the newly going to be drawn line. Now you can draw the gap between is, take, is as 43 mm. Like that the gap between the lines may be increased or decreased accordingly to our need. Similarly I can draw horizontal parallel lines like this using H, HB or to edge pencils according to the need. Also, if I want to draw a line, suppose if I want to draw some inclined lines, say some angle. So put a draw a line. For this point, I'm going to draw a 45 degree inclined line. So take your protector, place it on the point. This is the point zero degree, let like it horizontal. And if I want to draw some 45 degree inclined line, put a point at an angle of 45 degree. That is, uh, read us like this, 10, 0, 10, 20, 45 degree is marked. Now, adjust your scale. Now, we are going to join this point 
with this point so the, so that and for that i going to release this nut of your draft rotating anti clockwise and you can make the scale tilted now these two points are joint before that you tighten this nut in clockwise now i can able to draw an inclined line like this this is the angle the angle between this horizontal and the inclined line is taken as 45 degree so 45 degree this is the first time i have drawn 45 degree inclined line and in parallel to this also i can draw several parallel lines at say at a distance of 20 mm so 20 mm a point is smart plus 20 mm so at 4 cm another 20 mm like that uh, before drawing n number of parallel lines i can split the lines gap between the lines like this and the uh, lines passing through these and the lines passing through these points are drawn at a regular or irregular interval between the line segments so you can draw inclined lines using your mini drafter similarly by using the vertical scale of your mini drafter you can draw lines like this parallel lines so it is used quickly to draw vertical parallel lines horizontal parallel lines inclined parallel lines at any angle so this is the purpose of mini drafter and uh, in addition to this you can use uh, pencils and this is called a pro circle used to draw circles protector as i told here the ordinary protector and the three pencils may be used frequently h 2h and hp pencils and uh, for beginners it is enough to use uh, a compass this is called ordinary geometry box compass used to draw circles and the one this is called the free hand scale ordinary scale is called as free hand scale and it is used to do uh, mark or to extend the lines the draft scale itself sufficient and in some cases it may use a free hand scale eraser and the drawing board clips as i told you earlier this is called as a template used to draw ready made polygons circles angles using this protected part is called as a template used to draw here this is used to draw the hexagon and this may be used to draw pentagon of various sizes and the square is also used to draw using this square part called a template pattern may be used to put the calculations needed for the drawings preparation of engineering drawings after completion of your drawings the drafter can be detached from the scale drawing board by releasing the screw rotating in anti clockwise so can you can release the clamp like this and i going to pack this drafter safely you bring the clamp part and this uh, scale part each other closely each other and for packing this uh, uh, drafter just you rotate this nut sorry screw in anti clockwise so that the gap between the clamp and the screw is increased gap is increased and now you can insert your scale part into that portion you can insert like this and uh, you can rotate this uh, screw in clockwise like this and also the nut in clockwise so that now it is safely it can be handled now you can take this whole part in your hand so wherever required it can be used so thank you for listening